What's up YouTube friends and family? Welcome back to my pink channel. It's your girl Lady V and today I wanted to share with you my Hello Kitty glow in the dark creation that I made today you guys. I'm so excited about it that I had to show you. I was actually just messing around with these off camera. I wasn't even trying to film this. Yeah, I originally started with these smaller molds here and then I grabbed this bigger mold just to test it out really, see if it would work. Um, and it did, and I was super impressed with it. I used these glow-in-the-dark polishes from Eno Couture. They're from the Vivid Collection. They all glow in the dark very, very well. Um, they're very bright, actually. They glow and light up on their own very, very well. Super impressed about that. I'm using my dotting tool for the very, very detailed parts of this Hello Kitty. This mold is actually very deep and I don't want to use that much product to fill it up but I don't want to use not enough either where it's like super like flimsy and you know not full unfortunately this mold is not see-through so I cannot see what I'm doing from the other side any imperfections so I have to kind of wing it which is fine with me I've done already like four or five of them uh, winging it and they've come out pretty well there is some imperfections on them, but I'm really not that worried about it considering I couldn't even see the other side of the mold like most of the molds I'm used to working with. So anyways, I'm using the smaller molds again because I feel like I need a couple more pieces. I was just eyeing out the size of the nails and the pieces of charms that I've made and I'm just like thinking I need to make a few more just in case I feel like I might not have enough. I love this set you guys it literally made my whole day I was happy the whole time creating this set and this is what I love about doing nails is this feeling that I have today creating this set um, I had three separate ideas completely separate ideas and they all combined it into one I had an idea to mess around with some silicone molds and see what happens which was completely not related to any other idea. I also had an idea to do a Hello Kitty set, which I love Hello Kitty, and I haven't done a Hello Kitty set in so long and I miss doing Hello Kitty sets. So I decided maybe I'll do a Hello Kitty set. But then I had another idea that I wanted to do the glow and the dark set, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do for the glow and the dark set. And then it all kind of just combined it and this is just like to me i feel like one of my masterpieces i've personally never seen a set like this before that's completely glow in the dark including the hello kitties um so this to me is like everything i love it so much and i feel like it's so unique and it's a first for me i actually surprised myself with this set i'm just still really happy about it What do you guys think so far? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I love using silicone molds because you can create your own unique charms and you can make different color ones, you know? Okay, you guys, so my Hello Kitty face is dry. I'm gonna pop out the hearts from this silicone mold and I'll deal with the excess around there later. But I wanna show you this excess. It's a mess around this Hello Kitty and they were all like this. And I had to do this, so I'm just going to show you what I do. So I take this super fine drill bit and I go around the Hello Kitty and I take out all that excess that is around her. Just clean her right up because I want to be able to see the entire shape of the Hello Kitty. And with all that excess, it really like takes away from the definition of her ears and the bow tie and her hands and feet and all of it so i really wanted to clean that up i mean to each your own you can do whatever you want but that's just my personal uh, preference is to clean it up and i did it to all of them before i top coated them so i'm just gonna do do this one too to show you guys what i did and how i created them to be the way they are now so yeah this is how i made these 
glow in the dark hello kitties you guys and i absolutely love them i'm totally obsessed with them i wish i made them on a set of one two three go nails which i probably will do just to have a set like this because these are so cute like i said i really didn't know what was gonna happen with this it just kind of happened and i love them so i probably will do a set like this on myself I definitely feel like these Hello Kitty nails are Halloween worthy, definitely. I would wear these for Halloween, for sure. I used number 169 from the collection, from the Vivid collection, because I felt like it was a very perfect color for everything. I felt like it would pop out all the other colors and let them all stand out individually and still shine as a background color itself. I'm using my Darling Lamp today from Eno Couture and I'm just cleaning it as I go. Basically everything I'm using today except for the silicone molds are from Eno Couture and I do have a discount code with them and I will leave it in the description box down below. On the second layer I did incorporate some glitter into this nail and I'm probably going to do that on all the nails. I really like it. Um, but I'm going to cure that and then once I put my top coat on there, it will be smooth. Because I'll be using the Dom top coat from Eno Couture, which is a thicker top coat. I'm also going to be going over the nail with gummy jelly and shiny top coat. So it's going to have like three layers of extra coating on top of it. So we'll just sink right into those glitters. And I am using my flashy lamp from Eno Couture and I'm flash curing these Hello Kitties in between full cures because I don't want them to slide around. I'm also flash curing all the little pieces. I don't want those sliding around either. So I'm just kind of keeping them in place so I can move on to the next nail. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am loving this set so, so much. I can't wait to put it on one of my kawaii display stands that I have. These are just so super cute. But I really hope you guys are enjoying this set. I'm going to show you what it looks like glowing in the dark. I'm also going to show you what the Hello Kitties look like by their self glowing in the dark. And then I'm going to show you um, the final look on the hand in both the day and in the dark.
I really hope you guys enjoyed the final look of the set that I did today. If you did, please give it a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Feel free to follow me on any other platform at Lady V Nails. And shout out to all my beautiful, amazing subscribers. Shout out to Eno Couture and the Pink Army. I love you guys all so, so much. And until next time, please be positive. Stay safe. Be kind to everyone, including yourselves. And I'll see you all in the next one.